Hi, today we're going to be taking a review of the Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon GameStop haul over here. So, this is what you look like if you pre order the Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon uh, Veterans Trainer Duo Pack. So, of course, you get your Sun and Moon game. You get a bonus 200 Pokeballs, so 100 Pokeballs for each game. And you get 16 art cards. It's a little cards that features little character artwork on there and stuff. You also get for pre-ordering this nice double-sided Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon poster. I mean this, but we'll tell you a little, yeah, a little bit later. But here's the new Pokemon Z Wing or Z Wing, which is completely different. From the original. I don't have the original Patterson from the old Pokemon Z-Wing. But uh, if you watch the channel, you know what it looks like. So yeah. This one comes with... So it's a new Brat Wing. Because it was two Z-Stones. So this Z-Wing is still called Z-Wing. It's not Z-Wing Plus or anything like that. I don't know why. So it comes with Mimic... Q Z Liam Yeah. Kinda of hard to say. Mimic Q Zium Z. So, you know, you get the Z move for Mimic Q. Light Linium Z. So you get the special Z move for the Lycan Watts and what and all those things. And then you also get a Mimic Q. Cause the original one you got a Pikachu, which it's on my shelf, but uh, I don't want to take it down because it looks really nice in the post I have it in the shelf. So this is kind of what the old wing looked like and what the new wing looks like. And there is some special features on the new wing. Like the new wing, you put these new crystals in like that, and then you actually have to turn them the other way. So you actually lay them flat like this. As you can see there, and then you actually turn them like this, right there to do the Z move. Now they're saying that this will work with all the original old crystals, so all the old school, old gen crystals, as we're seeing down here, would definitely work with this one, and then plus the uh, four six new crystals. So there's a couple more crystals that kind of got like this double arrow thing going on. And one that's just made for Pichu in a lightning bolt design. So uh, appearance compatible with all the old crystals and with the, um, I believe it's still compatible with the old Pokemon Sun and Moon games. Well, the new Z crystals, like the Mimic Q one and stuff, is not going to be compatible with you know, the old Sun and Moon game. But you know what I mean. So yeah, and then let's take a look at this poster. It is a nice shiny metallic poster. So yeah, you get all that glare and shine from it. It looks fantastic and nice. And then on the back, a nice picture of what the iron regions look like. So yeah, and the bat is shiny, it is shiny as you can see, but not that metallic shiny that looks like a booster pack. You know when you get a pair of Pokemon cards or yu gi cards where it's in those nice shiny silvery foil pads? That's what the form was Ultra Sora Leo, Ultra Luna Lala, and I forgot what this Pokemon name is. I believe you can only get this one in the... Uh, Elite Trainer Bots. You know, those big, like, 80 to $90 boxes that comes with card sleeves and dice and stuff like that. So, yeah, just that. Also, I didn't get it because I didn't know about it until it was too late, until I checked on YouTube. But apparently, they're supposed to be not only giving out, you know, these posters if you pre-order the Austria Sun Moon games. If you spend $25 at GameStop... 
you're supposed to get a special promo pack of Pokemon I Choose You Pichu cards. So, you get a Pichu that says Pichu was Ash's hat and stuff. And I think there's more than just, you know, one promo card in there. I could be wrong, it could be only one promo card in the pack. So, why am I not showing that on the camera right now, you know? Pokemon I Choose You promo card pack? I didn't know about it until it was too late. But yeah, if you're picking this up tomorrow, and you're headed to GameStop, and you're like, Hey, I pre-ordered the Z-Wing, which is 30 bucks, twenty nine ninety nine, which is over the $25 price range. So you should be getting two of those Pokemon I Choose You Pier 2 promo card packs if you buy just this. And then with this, which is about... Ooh... How much was this? 60 or 70? I think this is 70. So maybe 2 or 3 if you buy this. If you buy all this, buy at least a good 4 packs. Between 3 and 4 packs. No. Yeah. 4 to 5 packs, I mean. If you get in these two. So yeah. Wow, I'm really kidding myself today. Because I wish that Leo Hart would just put up the video a little bit earlier. Right before I went to GameStop to pick this up, and you know, I would know about the Pokemon. I choose you, Pikachu special promo card pads. That would have been awesome. But uh, Leo Hart, he's a great guy. Go check out his YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below in the description. So you could just go there. And he kind of talks about in the video a little bit about different things, about some things coming from the Pokemon Center that's going to be in GameStop and stuff. But uh, just watch it to like. Maybe halfway through to almost the end. It's about maybe a 12 minute video. So not that too long. And he'll tell you like, Hey, if you spend $25 at GameStop, you get the Pokemon, you know, Pikachu, I choose you promo card pads. So hopefully I'll call up GameStop and say, Hey, you got those pads? Yeah, you know I want them. You See this YouTuber? Yeah, go check out his channel. You know, he said, spend 25 bucks at GameStop. You get those pants, <laughs> you know I was going to spend more than 25 for the Z-Wing and this dual pad right here. The Pokemon's Archer Sun game, Archer games. So, yeah, I should be at least getting four pads. <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully they had them in stock and, you know, they would say, okay, here you go. Just come in the store and pick them up. Oh, another thing that I almost forgot to tell you. This Pokemon Z-Wing... Was supposed to release on November 1st. That's right. The very first of the month. This is supposed to be released at GameStop. Go to GameStop. Why? I was like, hey. I picked it up. They're like, it ain't in yet. I'm like, what do you mean it ain't in yet? On the website it says, hey, po pre-order Pokemon. You know, the new Z-Wing. And picked it up on the 1st of November. November 1st, you know. Which is, you know, three days before Call of Duty World War II drop. At GameStop, right? And they're like, uh, we didn't get our shipment. I'm like, you know, you're supposed to get it in. Your website's saying that, you know, you're supposed to have it in. I'm here on the day, so where's my stuff that I paid for to pick up? They're like, yeah, blame y'all you know, the shipping. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, right, shipping. So either GameStop pulled the old Shitsuwu or Nintendo put the old. Woo over our eyes and I was like, hey, you know, game's out. You're supposed to sell this on November 1st, the very first of the month. But the game comes up on the 17th. That's right, Friday, November 17th is when the game drops. So I went to put it up. Let's just have it together as a two pack. Which is someone just lied to you. Either one company lied to you or both companies lied to you. Because GameStop was saying on their website, hey, go in the store, pre order the swing. On the first of the month, pick it up, wait a couple weeks until the 17th, and then you can pick up your game. Well, apparently it was not a game, so I kept calling them for like two or three days, three or f well, at least two weeks. I was like, hey, it's already the third. I walked in there, I was like, hey, I'm picking up Call of Duty World War Two. You know, it's the third, you know, did you get the Z-Wing in? Because, you know, it was supposed to be on the first. So maybe your shipment was... A delay and you got it on the set there or something. They're like, nope. It's the third. Call of Duty came out. We have that, but uh, we don't have your Z-Wing, sir. I'm like, what the F? You know, 
and <laughs> pointing. Well, I didn't curse in GameStop, okay? So, you know. But, you know, I finished myself. Yeah. What the heck's going on? And then... This come out. Oh, they also had the new uh, Pokemon Z-Wing Stones. You know, the Z-Crystals. Uh, Tardit. And Tardit dropped the bomb. They made a mistake. They had, down the toy aisle, where they have the Pokemon and the you know, the original Z-Crystals. You know, like, these Z-Crystals right here. Down there, where they had a couple packs of the old Z-Crystals left on the shelf. I was like, oh my god, they had the two new packs of these new Z-Crystals forms. Like, these little, uh, you see what they kind of look like. They don't look like crystals, they got like a double crystal or triple crystal thing going on. I'm like, yeah, I put it up, brought them up to the chow counter, scan it, it's like, I am not in the dance, saying it's not available. I'm like, what do you mean it's not available? And they're like, oh, wait, we can't sell them to you, sir. They have to be sold and released on the left. I'm like, what, you know, what the F? What the freaking F, Pokemon? Archer, Sun and Moon. You know, you're dropping bombs everywhere. GameStop, supposed to be released on the first, now released on the first. And then, at GameStop, you know, you spend 25 hours, you're supposed to get the Pokemon, hey you, P hey you, I choose you, Pikachu, special promo cards. Didn't say anything about that. And then it was very late, like, the night before, November the 14th, I found, hey, for pre-ordering this game, you get the poster. Yeah. That's strike free, GameStop. Oh, and then, of course, Tardit, their fault that their sale manager did not check their people in their departments. It's going around the aisle and say, okay, I have free people that works in toys. I'm the sales manager in toys, you know. I'm going to personally check the shelves, see what we are. Do we have to order more powers? Do we have to, how many um, Transformers do we have on the shelf? Do they have to be weird ways? Do we have to put on the end caps? Do we have to, you know, we saw our fidget spinners? You know, all that stuff, right? Nope, they had them right there. See them. Boom! Right in front. Where you could obviously see them. They're like, nope, we can't sell them. Fool them down. Like, you just PO'd me. I'm really effed off right here. Whew. So, yeah, that's everything about Pokemon, Archer, Sun, and Moon. Games that lie about the Zed Wing. They announced it the day before that you get the poster. They didn't say anything about getting those special I Choose You Pikachu promo cards for spending 25 hours. Nope, they didn't say that, so I've still got to go back and yell at them on the phone about that at GameStop. And then taught it for honestly misplacing and not checking their sales staff and, you know, their salespeople and what they had on the shelf or hadn't been the thing of the new Z Crystals on the shelf, but no, they can't sell them. You know, it was like, well, we don't know what the price is. The price is the same as the freaking old ones. Four ninety nine, five ninety nine, between five and six bucks a pop for a free Z crystals. You know, just sell them already. But they're like, no. So they want to be bid a holes. All three companies want to be bid old stinky a holes. GameStop, lie. Lied, lied about the car pet. You got Nintendo that was lying about this, the car pet, and this. You got Tardy that was lying about, yo, know, or misproduct placement advertisement about those Z crystal wings. Not the wings, but the new Z crystals for the new Z wing. So, yeah, that's kind of, you know. The GameStop and the Lantern and the Hall and, you know, what to watch out for, who to yell at, what you're supposed to get if you pay up the stuff. Like I said, supposed to be on the first, wasn't on the first. You got this. They didn't tell you until one day before about putting on your poster. You're supposed to get the Pokemon cards to open up the card packs and see what you got. No mention on that. So, yeah, and then taught it. When they put up the new Z crystals and then they couldn't sell them, well, maybe they should have checked their aisles and told their staff people, hey, we got these new Z crystals, they drop on the 17th, leave them in the box, do not restock the shelves, do not put it on the shelf with the other Z crystals, you know. 
on the 17th, put them out. But they didn't, which is their fault because, you know, as a consumer, I'm like, hey, they have them out. It's why with the old Z crystals for like four ninety nine and five ninety nine, between that price range. Yeah, I'll get it because, you know, obviously this was supposed to be on the first and stuff. But, yeah, there you go. So that's everything about Pokemon Archer Sun and Archer Moon. Nintendo. Yeah. Remember to wait, subscribe, and like. Alright, thanks. Bye.